some days the president does some stuff that I really like, some stuff that I really appreciate, whether it's an actual policy measure or it's just something that he does that, quite frankly, just amuses me. This was not one of those weeks. In fact, looking back at the week, especially, this was a very bad Trump week. If you got good Trump and bad Trump, this was definitely the bad Trump. This was the Mr. Hyde week for the president. And a couple reasons for that. First of all, Trump said that he was strongly considering commuting Governor Rod Blagojevich's 14-year prison sentence. Really bad move by Trump. There's really no advantage to it whatsoever. It seems to be one of those Trump decisions that he just kind of makes on a whim and doesn't think about it before he does it. But as bad as that is, and that's bad, in my opinion, it is not nearly as bad or politically devastating, so morally or politically, as what happened in the ICU when he went to visit people in Ohio and in El Paso. Because the whole thing turned into a media circus. It basically was a mini Trump rally that took place in the hospital. And look, if he had just shown up, and he showed up with a camera crew, Trump can't necessarily... The guy can't control what the crowd does. Like, if Trump goes to a place, even if it's something like this that needs to be somber and serious and he needs to adopt that mantle of presidential authority and wear the office in a respectable way, Trump can't necessarily affect how people react to that. If people show up and treat him like a celebrity and turn it into a Trump rally kind of thing, that's not really Trump's fault. How he reacts to it may or may not be his fault. Well, how he reacts to it is his fault. Um, but I'm just saying that it could it could be good or bad. He controls his reaction. He doesn't control the crowd. But this was tweeted out by the president and pinned as his top tweet, so it would be the first thing people see on top of his Twitter feed, and you tell me how you react to it. This is the clip. Oh my gosh, that, that's not just a pile of crap, that is an entire mountain range of crap. The idea that the President of the United States would go to visit mass shooting victims is a good thing, but the fact that he turned it into a campaign event and a photo op and specifically had camera crews go back later and put together a video montage like that, and then put it to the, like, what was that? I mean, I know it's not the Rocky theme, but it's similar to the Rocky music. It's this kind of upbeat uh, jingle that they're trying to, to make it into, hey, we're taking care of, but no, that's about as bad as it could have been done. I mean, I don't know how it gets worse than that. And the reason is, because Donald Trump made absolutely everything in that video about him. At a time where the country needed to see the president not trying to campaign, not trying to put all the spotlight and everything on him, the country needed that, and that's not what Trump gave them. He said, Hey, look at me, everybody check me out, look at what I'm doing. And a lot of it has to do with the president seems utterly incapable of doing anything other than reacting to the media. Now, sometimes, I would even say maybe more often than not, reacting to the media is good because the media is so garbage that him repudiating the media typically gives us good results. This is not one of those cases, because the media had been saying, oh, people don't like the president, they would rather he not show up, they, they're outside protesting, and so Trump's thinking was, 
all right, well, we'll show them, we'll stick it to them. What we're going to do is we're going to have a video put out there that shows everybody saying hi and high-fiving and glad to see me and asking for autographs. The whole thing was a reaction to the way that the media had been phrasing it. Now, was the media wrong in the way that they covered it? Absolutely, but that is a worse reaction. In fact, we talked at the top of the hour about Elizabeth Warren actually campaigning and fundraising off of the deaths of individuals, off of the deaths of people in mass shootings. How is that any different? How is that any better than what Elizabeth Warren did? Tell me, please. Because I don't see it as being any different at all. Now, granted, he's not asking for money at these things, but the sentiment is exactly the same. He shows up and he looks at it as nothing but a way to score political points, which is exactly what Elizabeth Warren did. And exactly what other Democrats have done. For those of you that are watching, that are a little bit older, and you've noticed this phenomenon, this generational divide that we've seen, not only re reflected in polls, but reflected in individuals, reflected in families that you've got families where there are kids roughly my age, millennials, that the parents absolutely love Trump, can't get enough of him, support him, back him no matter what he does, no matter how dumb it is. And then you've got the millennials that are saying, he does stuff like this. That is an absolute repudiation, flies in the face of everything my parents taught me, and yet they're supporting him without any questions or qualifiers. You want to know why millennials don't just eat Trump up with a spoon the way a lot of the older generation does? That's why. That right there. Look, I am a fan of sticking it to the media and slapping them in the face in front of everybody to see. And I mean that, of course, rhetorically. I hate that I even have to qualify that now. But I mean, you know verbally bashing them. That's what I'm talking about. And Trump is dang good at it. But not everything has to be about that. And that shouldn't be the primary purpose of your presidency. And you look at Donald Trump's record. So far, even though he's had funds released to build the wall, he hasn't started construction on it yet, even though he got the okay from the Supreme Court to go ahead and, and start construction on that, we have very little difference in the border policy and the status of the border now that we had in the Obama years. We've got higher deficits, higher spending, more spending than Obama ever dreamed of. I mean, do we have a really great Supreme Court justice in Gorsuch and I guess an okay one in Kavanaugh? Yeah, I'll give him that. Moving the capital of Jerusalem to Israel? Yep, should have done that 30 years ago. Trump gets all the credit for that. But is that it? I mean, got a booming economy. Trump has had something to do with that. I'm not saying that the guy has been an absolute abysmal failure, but I'm saying, are you really willing to put up with garbage like that? I mean, an absolute dumpster fire for a handful of policy initiatives? Because I got to say, and I actually was thinking earlier this week, contemplating to myself, if the election were held today, would I vote for Trump? And I was seriously considerate because you all know I didn't vote for him the first time, because largely because of his moral failings and because of the kind of person that he is. And I thought about it, I was like, you know, he's done a lot more good than than bad in terms of I thought that he was going to be basically Hillary Clinton light, and he wound up being a lot more conservative than that, but it's hard to put up with garbage like this. When the sole purpose of the man's presidency seems to be to bolster his own ego and to put himself first, and that even when you're dealing with victims of a mass shooting, the guy sees it as merely an opportunity to bolster his own popularity. 
America deserves a better president than that. They just do. We do. And I don't know that even if he had this job for another three decades that we would ever get that from President Trump. America deserves better. And we're dealing with this guy... The message of the president when tragedy strikes this country the way it does. It's got to be deeper than, hey, look at me and how great I am. And it's got to be better than, look at how I'm sticking it to the media and how wrong the media is. At a time like this, that should have been the furthest thing from President Trump's mind. But because of the kind of man that he is, it was the only thing on his mind. I'm not saying he doesn't care about the victims. I'm not saying there's not any genuine compassion coming out of him. But the point is, in his mind, he was there to stick it to the media and to put the spotlight on him and to show everybody how great he was. That was his primary goal. And that kind of level of pride, I can't even deal with thinking about somebody in the White House that actually believes that. You remember you remember the story of the Good Samaritan? You remember the part of the Good Samaritan where uh, he gets out to save the, uh, the guy there stuck on the, th that's been robbed on the side of the road, and he says, hang on a second, I got to pull out my selfie stick so that we can take a picture and I can upload it. Do you remember, to put it in terms of that day, him going throughout the town right after he put the guy up in the hotel and telling everybody what he had done? No. Because in that parable, the Samaritan was only concerned with his neighbor that needed help. At a time like this, America needs the president to be a voice of reason and unification. And frankly, in his speech, I wouldn't say that it was great, but he was largely that. But when he actually went out to meet the victims, you get messed like that. And that's not okay. It's the same thing with, you'll remember the story about the Pharisees and the rich people that were giving out of their alms and giving in abundance and they were making a big show. They would go up and it was almost like the, the sort of idea that is given from that passage in the Gospels is that these people were going up and, and basically giving like you would give to the telethon where they've got the big video board and, hey, this is how much I'm giving. And then you've got a poor widow who throws two mites in. Doesn't make a big show. But she's the one that actually sacrificed to do the right thing. Trump can't do anything, seemingly without making it into a production, making it all about himself and his own greatness. He wants to make it a temple, a testament to the greatness that is Donald Trump. And this video is Exhibit A. He seems utterly incapable of doing something good unless the main takeaway from it is how much credit he's going to get for it. And the country just deserves a better leader than that. This video is essentially every bad thing about Donald Trump rolled into one. Just in case you were wondering, yes, I am a straight white Christian male and a small government constitutionalist. Which means I have no chance of getting any help from the government and wouldn't accept their help even if they offered. Which means I'm going to need you to like and subscribe because my gun collection is not going to pay for itself.